Well, I said I would do it a long time ago in an insane aquarium stream. And finally, I'm getting around to doing it. I'm going to play Peggle. Now, I ain't talking about no Peggle Deluxe. I ain't talking about no Peggle Knights. I ain't talking about no Peggle 2 or Peggle Blast or Dual Shot. I'm talking about Peggle. All right, are you ready? This is actually quite a short game. This is It's basically a demo for Peggle Deluxe, but it has unique levels. So we're going to do... I'm going to stream Peggle, a game that I've never streamed before. That is a true statement. Technically. Uh, so I hope you're ready. I, I realized that I had never actually started off a stream with just straight up Piergin. So I thought I'd just go straight up Piergin on your ass. How do you like that? So here it is, folks. Uh, I have no idea if the volume is going to be... Is there even going to be music? I don't even know. Here's the original instructions, and I'm playing this off of Flashpoint. It's not a Flash game, but... Uh, it's it, this is on Flashpoint. They use a thing called Basilisk to host these old. It's basically an old web page uh, that you can't access anymore. Uh, hold on, I need to burp. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Usually I had to like snort or some shit. That's how I was like, oh god. There's like a. I just ate. There's like a burp coming up. I don't want. I don't want to like grace everyone with this shit. Uh, okay. So, from what I understand, you use the mouse to aim a shot, you hit every orange peg, you hit the greens for magic powers, and you hit the purple for a point boost. It sounds simple enough. So, I think these are the only three, like, zones in this. Bjorn, Cat, Tut, and Expert. So here it is. Is there music? I don't think there's music. Uh, so, by the way, from what I understand, before I start playing, uh, this is really crusty looking. From what I understand, this is like the original, like, freemium, basically, or not freemium, it's the free version of the game. So they would have this on their website, it's just called Peggle. And I think this is, from what I understand, I could be wrong about this, uh, this is the only way that you can access this one that's just called Peggle, is on, like, the, the old website. And then I think it says on the side here, you guys can't see it, but it says download to get more. Get a free trial of the full downloadable game. With the full game, you can enjoy more levels and more game modes. Get full screen gameplay with better graphics and effects. Play without advertisement interruptions, which I don't, I don't know if we're going to get ads here today. And save your progress and play anytime. No internet connection required. And then I think that takes you to Peggle Deluxe. There it is. That's really loud. That's really loud. Hold on. Wait a second here. It's got the sound effect. Bjorn looks like he's genuinely on shrooms. Like if you agree. Okay, that, sh that seems like perfect volume. There's just no music. Menu? Sound effects. Upgrade now! It- Abandon! Alright. It is so weird. It's like dun 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 I'll serenade you all. Hit the purple. Ah. So so this is it. This is actually cursed as shit. This looks a lot like Karchenko. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I don't really know. It, it does seem like the graphics are just ever so slightly different. Ooh, for slick shot? No. Sad. Boop, 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 boop. All the sound effects are the same. There's just no music, and it's like real crusty, as you can see. It's in a pretty small window on, on this window, and I don't think you can actually zoom in in Basilisk, so that's, part of, that's probably part of why it's so crusty. This is just, it's creepy. So I, I think this is a pre-Jimmy Lightning build, though. I don't think Jimmy Lightning is in this game. Unfortunately. It's like, what's the fucking point? Dun. 
That was pretty good. You can still minutely adjust with the, the scroll wheel and everything. And uh, I'm still a god at the game. Uh, let me know. Let me know if the volume's good. It should be good. I, I don't think I'll be 100%ing this one, but maybe I'll get a couple levels. We'll see. So it's weird. It, it's like the deluxe version of the game, but for some reason this has unique levels, which I guess they just figured literally who the hell cares about there being unique levels in this. Let's just make all new ones for the deluxe version. But I care, PopCap. Me. I do. Click. Ooh, oh. Go in there. I dare you. God damn it. Whatever. It's it's just the principle of the thing. I know they're all 100k. Ooh, that's different text. Also, music. And it's not, like, deafeningly loud like it is. Well, it, in Peggle Deluxe, the Fever volume actually has its own volume slider, which is really bizarre. Hmm. It's so, it's so tense. Also, look at this. This is a water-themed level, so maybe this is a prototype, uh, claw level. You know, with the flippers. Which I think is reinforced by the fact that there's empty space right here where the flippers would be, and it's likely for the ball to fall down there. Just food for thought. <laughs> it's very tense. Are there gonna be jump scares with Bjorn's eyes looking like this? It's like a modern horror trope, is like... Oh, their pupils get really tiny, or they get really big. You remember that Truth or Dare movie? <laughs> what a... what a fucking turd. That was... that shit was insane. With the smile face, the like Snapchat filter. They put on them. To make them look like, oh, they're so creepy. It's like a creepypasta. What the kids like. These days. It really kind of was the sus face. <laughs> See, this would be a good time to have the flippers! Sorry, this is my first time playing Peggle, so I might not- I, I might not win every level. Mm. Piss. Uh, I still haven't watched Jerma's archaeology stream, no. I saw a tiny clip of it, which was just the guy saying, this is not archaeology. <laughs> and, and that was it. He was like, this is geology. Nice. Nice. Let's go. No, if that was in Peggle 2, that would have gone in the bucket. By the by. Alright. Let's just pop it. Oh, that's so crusty. They're like, oh, the sound effects are so bit crushed. It was like... <sighs> I didn't notice the first level that those are so bit crushed. Okay, so now it's a mushroom cave level. I don't think this relates to any particular world in Peggle Deluxe. It almost reminds me of Norman in Peggle 2. Of course, they were not even thinking about that at this point. You can still fast forward. That's good. It seems like basically all the gameplay mechanics are there. I, I would almost wonder if this is like a version of the game that they showed to some like publishing company, you know? Although, were PopCap? I think they were self-published, right? Something like that? I don't really know how that worked. Weird. Uh, somebody in, uh, I should put this on the FAQ. Somebody in chat is asking the classic, why is the fruit purple? Um, it isn't. I hate to burst your bubble, but it is gray. It is a gray fruit. The fruit in my logo is gray. <laughs> there are some subscriber badges that are purple, but there are subscriber badges of all colors of the rainbow. The, the fruit is literally gray. I don't know if- uh, I don't know if that's, like, become a joke now or something. This is, like, a very common thing. In fact, so common that- here, I'll bring up the color right now. I have isolated grapefruit gray. Do you guys want to see it? I have this ready, because people ask this so much. That is the color of the fruit in my logo. Alright? Case closed. You can sample it yourself if you want to. It is fucking gray. <laughs> it's a fucking gray fruit, I'm sorry. 
Uh, it, it simply isn't. I, I'm aware that it's got a pink outline, but I'm just here to spell out the facts for you guys. I'm here to give you guys a harsh dose of reality. You know? This does not change the truth. This isn't a germa bit. This is just a thing people say. People think my fr fruit logo is purple for some reason. I don't know. I guess we know why. But like, if you just look at it, whatever. Uh oh, I got too upset and now I'm like losing. Mm. Wow, th that one just like goes off screen for a while. It's just like, yeah, uh, bye. Damn, that was close. <laughs> yeah, this is some fucking Berenstein Bear shit. This is, uh, are we in the Berenstain universe? Where my fruit logo is actually purple? It was a little more confusing before when the, the tier one sub was purple. Because the, the premise, the original premise with the tiered subs was, uh, or not the tiered, uh, like the, the monthly, like how long you've been subbed, I don't even know what that's called. Uh, but, like the badges. Originally the premise was that the highest level is a true grey fruit. But then I think the fact that, that when you when you first subscribe it's a purple fruit, I think that threw a lot of people off. But it went like purple and then like gold and then it was like the highest level at that time was the grey. Because I am the highest life form. Makes it sound like it was like an ego thing when I say it like that. It's not a giver reference, it's a thing! Oh god. This is kind of like the giver, I guess. This is like the stupidest edition of the giver ever. <laughs> well, I am winning. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Hey, by the way, the voice filters are on, right? You guys can hear that? I actually did. It's, I've been having some trouble with voice mod lately. Mm. I'm getting I'm getting zero responses on this, which is making me think that it's not. Mm. That was not what I meant to do. Okay, well. Fuck it. There's no voice mod. Sad. Well, I tried to do- I tried to- when I said slick earlier, I turned it on for a second, but unfortunate. I just did it for like a second earlier. Well, that sucks. It confirms my suspicions, though. And right in the trash! Oh! Oh! Well, I'm sorry, guys. You're not gonna get a classic echoey slick, then, this- this stream. It's quite unfortunate. Let me just open voice mod real quick, actually. Not that it's a huge deal. It's it's not like oh I need my I need my funny voices. <laughs> Let's do hear myself. Hear myself. Oh, oh, you can totally. totally. Yeah, did, did I get debated? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it is, is that working for you guys? Okay, cool. For a second, I thought I got hella debated, like insane debated, like you know. Usually when people are trying to, like, I can, like, 99% of the time sniff out a debate because it's, like, mixed si mixed signals from the chat. But there it was, like, truly nobody was saying it. I was like, all right, well, I'll take their word for it. But then just for a second there, I was like, did I get, like, legendary debated? But no. Okay, thank you, guys. Snow level. Oh, no, this is a ghost level. Is that a tentacle coming out of the grave? This is a very bizarre level. They both look like they're burping really loud in a cartoon. Anybody else see that? Like, in, like, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Someone just drank a soda and burped. That's what their mouth looks like. Or, like, The Simpsons. So this is, this is a, this is a Reinhardt level. Reinhardt from Overwatch. I actually forget what his real name was. Reinfeld? Seinfeld? Yeah, Reinfeld. But I, the cave one throws me off. 
Again, maybe this was back when Jimmy Lightning was merely Huey the Hamster. We saw the concept art for these classic, iconic characters that everybody loves. When are we getting to get some Peggle and Smash, anyway? Hmm. Uh, yeah, people were telling me about that, uh, that gnome trick in Half-Life 2, Episode 2. I mean, it's not really a, a huge deal that I get that achievement. I was just sort of messing around to see if I could do it. But that is interesting to know that there's, like, a, a way to do it that the system does not acknowledge as cheating for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, Peggle Assist Trophy? That'd be kind of lit. I mean, uh, I am of course joking, by the way. Th that would never fucking happen. Peggle and Smash is a fever dream. Never. But maybe. Ah! Alright, you guys want it now? Slick. Hopefully that worked. It didn't work? Bruh! Voice mod, get your shit together! What is this? It closed! You know what it did? It closed! I had to open it and then it just closed for no reason. Stay open, you prick! Uh, fucking... Uh... 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 Okay, that, I had it off there. It's still not working! It, I think whenever I go out of the window, it now closes the window and stops working. Like, I literally didn't, like, hit the X. I clicked on the Peggle window to just put it, like, to the background. Voice mod just updated and it, like, all the logos for everything changed. And I think that's a new feature they put in is that when you click off of the window, it closes the app. That is mind-boggling. That's like truly incredible. <laughs> well, I don't even care at this point. You guys don't get a slick. No, it's over. I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with that next time. Like what the actual fuck, voice mod? What about now? It's, it's open now. It's staying open for a second. Still not working, that's miserable. Why? So it literally only works when it's in the, like, now it probably works. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Well, that's fucking mind boggling. I'm sorry, you guys don't get any effects this stream. It's uh, like miserable, and no, I hate it too, don't worry. What, what a miserable feature. I know it did because, you know why it did? Because I had the voice app in the front of the screen, at, at, at like the front window. I am well aware that it worked there. It literally doesn't work if you like, even if you tab out. Also, this is in the game. This is in Peggle Deluxe. That, it, like, why? Like, wh why? Just keep it on the entire time. No, I literally can't click into this window when I have, like, that turns it off. That's how busted it currently is. I literally can't do that. It is impossible for me to do that. It is not possible. <laughs> it is impossible for me to do that. Because I have to click on the game to play it. And clicking on another window turns off voice mod. I'm sure there's just some setting, but like, holy fuck, like, name a single human being on the fucking planet who wants that feature. Like, uh, huh? Actually, this was, uh, this was a spring fever level. Hold the phone. This was in, this was not in Peggle Deluxe. This was in Peggle Knights. Uh, like, level pack. This was- this was a Spring Fever level, right? 
click back on the window every second between Peggle shots. Apparently this is what voice mod wants me to do. Apparently. This is evidently like what, what they think humans do with their software. Technology baffles me. Have you guys ever had a piece of technology ever that just worked 100% of the time? That I can guarantee none of you have. Unless it was like, I don't know, maybe a telegraph machine. <laughs> maybe if you operated a telegraph. Hey, Game Boys are still, yeah, Game Boys still work. They just, you know, suck. <laughs> but they still work. That's true. Game Boys are good. And, and, and if you're thinking I haven't, you just haven't used it for long enough yet. I guess that's, you know, entropy. Everything breaks down. Oh my fucking god. I feel like wasn't... There was a level that was very much like this, but didn't actually have this sprite. This is kind of Manka S. Honestly, tech errors are so, like, frequent like that. Like, just weird shit like that where I'm like, who thought this was a good idea? It, it, I know I always seem like I get so pissed off at shit like that, but it's just because it plagues my life as a streamer. It, it gets so old. After a while, it's like, just please, something work. Oh. When I had my old capture card, that was, like, even more miserable. When I got this new capture card, my mood improved significantly. It seems like the pointer might be ever so slightly less accurate in this one. Because it didn't look like I was going to hit that orange peg, but I did. But maybe, I don't know, maybe I just misjudged it. It's like, I'm still so, like, uncomfortable by what's happening, you know? Like, no music. Do you think they had, like, they were working on it? It was like, oh man, we don't have the music yet. I don't know, just leave it out then. <laughs> just make it fucking silent and eerie. There you go, nice slide. I can just go slick, look, look, look. Hello, lo, lo, lo. Wayne fucking Brady can do like the best person talking in an amphitheater impression. It's uncanny. It's insane, like I can do it okay. But like, oh my god. Wayne Brady, like, he did that shit on, he just, like, randomly whipped that out on, like, Whose Line Is It Anyway one time when I was a kid, and I was like, my jaw dropped. I was like, whoa. He didn't have, like, a filter on his voice, he just did that? It, it's very boring, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like, especially now that I've, uh, now that I've played so much Peggle, of course. It's like, now, especially without the music, it's just like, I, I feel so dead inside at this point. <laughs> that shit with voice mod, that's miserable. That is miserable. Oh, Patrick. Oh my god, it's literally Patrick. It's Baby Patrick from Baby Yoda Spongebob. Didn't Steven Hillenberg say to, like, not make derivative shows of Spongebob that, that are, like, spin-offs? Didn't he, like, literally say that? It's, uh, pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. The mighty dollar... ...is enough to make anyone go against a fucking man's... It, it wasn't his dying wish, I guess, but... Wishes! <laughs> a dead man's wishes! It, it's it's true that he is dead, so he probably doesn't mind too much. But, uh, hot damn. Hot diggity damn. Mm. Yep, you'll get down there eventually, okay. And then they, yeah, I think they actually had some sort of, they had like a live event where they all just joined and spat on his grave. Yeah. I saw that, and I thought that was a really weird move. It, it made for good TV, though. It was good TV. I 
that they were good marksmen with the spit. If nothing else, they should be commended for that. Oh! Okay, um... Is it time? To start whittling them down and, and going for my godlike 100% speedrun? Looking pretty good so far. Okay, this is a wild shot. Okay, I got it. Wild thing. Okay. Um. Oh, that was a misjudgment. Never mind. Abort. Abort. Sorry, I need. I, I need complete quiet. This requires the utmost concentration. Come on. There you go. Just need you to glide right past that. This clam is burping on the Simpsons too, actually. No, that's just how they look. Clams are unfortunate souls. They they don't they don't have a good lot in life. <gasps> No breathing. <laughs> you know, that was bad. How the fuck am I going to get these ones, though? This is my question to you, chat. Even if I get this one, how do I get these fucking ones here? A car alarm is going off outside. This is lovely. Good ambiance. Bucket shot. It has to be. There's no other way. There's no other way. Has to be the bucket shot. Oh! Yeah! I still got it! I still got it! It never leaves you! It never leaves you! I'm doing a dance. I'm doing a dance. All right. Oh shit! It's this level. Classic level. In fact, is this... Is this the Peggle 2 version? Holy fuck, this is the third Peggle game to have this exact level. I don't even know. I, I, I like want to... After this stream, I want to go like look and compare. Because it's, it's a snail in one of them. And then I don't even remember what it is in, in Peggle 2. Isn't it also a lollipop in, in Peggle 2? Or is this in Peggle Knights? Fuck! <gasps> Where is the music? Uh, That's the music right there, you don't hear it? <laughs> Fuck. I've had a lot of requests for Purple Place. I, I, I am aware that it's like a nostalgia hit for a lot of people. I have no such nostalgia for it, I'm sorry. It really uh, doesn't interest me that much. Uh, seems like quite the game. But I, I'm sorry, you'll have to look to other streamers. Maybe Jerma will do that. It seems like something he would do. Fuck. Today I ate some gum. <laughs> you are gonna fucking die, bro. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's just like, wow, you're fucked. You are fucked, my friend. No, I've swallowed so much gum in my life. And I've already done the bit where I say that and then pretend to die. So... 
Let's just see where this goes. Okay, well, <laughs> not in the bucket. Turns out there's like, do you guys hear like other sounds? Wait. There's like a whoosh. weird. All right, also. Fuck. Yeah, boy. I still got it. Right in the 100k. Go right in there. Go right in there. Oh my. Oh, it's Zuma. Zuma Frog. Nice. And then what? There's like in his reflection, he's got a crown. That's cool. Is this a Princess and the Frog reference? Hmm. Damn, I wanted to hit the purple one too. It's Frog Champ. Hmm. This is, uh, I'm gonna say it, this is a lot more levels than I thought there were gonna be. By the way, <laughs> I thought this was just gonna be a short thing. This might be an entire thing. Of its own. I thought this was gonna take like 20 minutes. But it's already been 35. And we're not even on the second world out of three. I think this is like basically an entire Peggle game actually, weirdly enough. So yeah, I don't think there will be main channel videos for like the user submitted level packs or this or even if I do dual shot eventually, but I think the one other Peggle game that I would make a main channel video for is uh, dual shot. Or uh, no, not dual shot. Blast. Fuck. You ever notice that mobile games always have, they, they don't like to have numbers in their titles, even if they're like a sequel. It's always like... Candy Crush Saga, you know? Angry Birds Stories. It's never, it's never just like two, you know? Ah. Thousand Year Door is uh, also not getting a main channel video. These are all gonna be just Twitch scraps. By the way, uh, you know how many clips we got last stream for Thousand Year Door? One. I'm not complaining, but like, that is that is by far the least amount of clips I've ever got on a on a stream. One. And it was guess what it was? Yeah, it was me going weed weed weed. Yeah. You know. It was there were plenty of funny parts. I do often when I'm doing Twitch scraps, I'm like, "Oh man, there's so many funny bits that people didn't really clip." And sometimes I'll go into the vod if it was like really good and add it in. But uh a lot of the times I just uh I just shake my head in sadness. Hmm. Sad. Hmm. Oh, people always clip the fuck out of Peggle, and they've always done that for the ones that I edit into main channel videos, which is unfortunately misplaced effort. Also, I have not commented on this stage. This is very fucking weird. Tentacle stage with with squids. Is this perhaps Splork's early iteration? I don't think these squids are from any other PopCap game. Hmm. Whoa. There's a peg in the middle. There's a, that's a peggle ball. It almost looks like the gamer button on the Xbox. It has that, like, X on it. You guys know the gamer button, right? Oh. Oh. That was quite miserable. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
That was actually weirdly good. It was actually really fucking clean. I didn't even need that green pack, damn. Ah. Oh, finally. Finally, I did all the Bjorn. Bjorn. See if this was really my first time playing this, I'd, I'd be like, Bjorn? Huh? I wonder if I said that the first time. Ooh. This is a Jimmy Lightning level, right? I think it is. But this is pre-Jimmy Lightning. So, yes. Fucking Cat Tut is the other guy. Fucking Cat Tut. Not Jimmy Lightning. Fucking Cat Tut. Oh, uh, by the way, I should mention... Other PopCap games have a similar situation. Uh, I think I will be, for the most part, ignoring those, except I think I want to do the web version of Insane Aquarium as well. Because I actually remember playing that when I was younger. That was like... I played... it, it like, it worked on me when I was a kid. I played it on, on a computer. I think it was actually at a friend's house. They were like, look at this cool game, Insane Aquarium, and I was like, whoa. And then we saw it in the store when I was at, uh... We were at, like, Staples or Office Max or something. And, uh, I was like, it's Insane Aquarium! Mom, can I get it? And then we did. But I haven't played the browser version in a while, and it's on, uh, it's on Flashpoint as well. So, yeah, this is gonna be a whole thing. I guess I, I didn't even think I was gonna take a break between this and the Thousand Year Door, but I think I will now knowing that there's this much game to it. Unfortunately, yes, there are actually some repeated levels, but uh, some of them are unique. Nice. Uh, someone says, I'm honestly surprised there hasn't been a PVZ and Peggle crossover. Well, there are PVZ levels as part of the Spring Fever level pack in Peggle Knights. Uh, you look pretty silly right now, I gotta say. You look quite the fool. Not knowing such a basic informations. Everybody knows about the Spring Fever Pack. No, I'm just joshing, of course. I'm like the only person on Earth who gives a shit about the L Peggle Knights level packs. Whenever I, whenever I hear something like that, uh, or, or I say it myself, like in that instance, think of that one Red Letter Media thing where it's like, I don't even remember what it was. It was, no, it was the tape that was called, like, it was about an alien that comes to Earth and learns about human ways. And the alien is called Ooga Booga. And, uh, oh. and, and there's like this shitty little kid that explains Earth things to these aliens. And there's one line where the kid's like, I can't believe that anyone as advanced as you wouldn't know about as some something as simple as a locomotive or something like that. And he just says it in such like an assholey way. Rem I, the way I was talking reminded myself of that. Oh. Pyramid power, I hate to say it, but it's being kind of clutch. Um, you know what isn't clutch though? The face this snowman is making. And his very long hat. What's another- th what's a term for, like, something that is rigid and long? Hmm. I shall have to think about this. In my study. Get your gross snaggle tooth out of here, man. You look like a witch! Like you're gonna eat someone! Are you a witch? You better not be. Is this a predecessor then to Berg? Because I don't think there's a snow guy in... Oh, what? Huh? They're just straight up reusing a level from this same demo. Okay. Is it random? What? It might be random, maybe? I now have a suspicion, but maybe not. I don't know. 
Maybe they were just like, you know what? Banger level. Do it again. I'm, uh, this is... This is... I'm having a weird pog. I'm having a weird champ at the moment. Yes, yes chat. This is Peggle's grandpa. That is a good way to put it. Okay. This is very weird, and it's and it's the one level that I couldn't really ascribe to any particular Peggle Master. Although th there were a couple like that, I guess. The Snow Guy again. They weren't thinking about Peggle Two at this point. I can almost assure you. I can't believe that anyone is advanced <laughs> as advanced as you twats. Wouldn't know about a Compton train. It's the most simple thing on the bloody planet. Yeah, okay, just go in the 10k and let's get out of here. Bjorn's Pleasure Cave. Yeah, okay, that's enough chat for one day. I can't wait till I play G Plus, which is a real game. It's an arcade game. And I can say G Plusy the entire time. Uh, also, boat. Is this like Ghost Ship? Another Ryan, another Seinfeld level, perhaps? One of the scariest episodes of Scooby-Doo was the one with the Ghost Ship. It's called A Clue for Scooby-Doo. It's the one with the, the green glowing ghost in a diver, like an old-timey diver outfit. And, and, he, and he goes like... And that sound freaked me the fuck out when I was younger. He like moans. I think that's what... You know what? I've talked about this in the past. I always thought zombies moaning was really creepy. It always like genuinely freaked me out, even in like cliched ass shit. I think that guy like made me afraid of that. Cause holy shit. The ghost of Captain Cutler. I remember his name too. And th there was another really creepy part of that episode where they find a fucking corpse. They find like a dead diver. And they're like, he's been down here for a while. And they don't even really acknowledge that he's dead, but he's clearly a corpse. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it's like a recent corpse. Like, bruh. That may have been what Venture Brothers was referencing. Possibly. I don't know exactly. It, the one in the Venture Brothers just fucking screamed. That shit was hilarious, actually. They, they dig up this old... They disturb this old ghost. But all it does is just scream at them. It doesn't actually, like, hurt them or anything. They're like, oh. It's just really loud and annoying. Ah. <sighs> you know, for kids. Okay. Oh my god. And this is a... This is another Peggle Knights level. What the fuck? I need to open up Peggle Knights. Hold on. Oh, I lost my save data in Peggle Knights, though, so I'm not gonna... I can still look at the levels. Sorry, it's gonna be kind of loud. Uh, maybe? And you guys aren't gonna be able to see this. I'm just checking for myself. Because I think this... I forget exactly where this was. But I don't have... I think it was in one of the bonus packs. Yeah. I think it was part of Spring Fever, actually, which is weird because it's, like, art-themed, but there was also an art level pack. It was the... but that was fan art. I think... I think both the lollipop and... Oh, wait, no, here it is. The lollipop definitely is a Spring Fever level. And then, yeah, Spaint is also a, a Spring Fever level. Yeah, and To The Limit is, too. That's so weird. But have we seen any, like, base game Peggle Knights levels in... in original Peggle? I'm, like, really quickly looking through them now. No, I think all the ones in Peggle Knights are original. It's just the Spring Fever level pack, they were like, hmm. Yeah, just pop in a few of them from the original game. Wow, a little bit of lore for you. Just a little bit of the lore. Wow. Simply Pog. And the Spring Fever level pack was free, by the way, before you accuse them of day one DLCing. 
Yeah, back to silence. Listen, I would play that music, but this is the way it's meant to be played. This is art. It's the way it comes in the package on the internet. Yeah, the mouse looks kind of big, because uh, it's in a pretty small window, and I can't actually adjust the size of it. I think there's a different graphic or a something with pyramid pickup. It's like the I think it's the same graphic, but it doesn't animate. Hold on, let's see if it happens. Yeah, usually they like spin around. There it's just completely immobile. So, a little bit of uh, beta versus official release differences for you. Welcome to my gaming archival channel. I do actually think that in, in some ways I am like an archivist. I mean, who the fuck would have played Pack and Pal in 2021 if not for me, right? I'm definitely a silly archivist, though. If if that that really sucked, wow, that really really sucked. Man, it was close too. I think that's the first L. Oh. Listen, you may have played Pack and Pal, but did you stream it? The old PC Harry Potter games. Uh huh. Uh huh. Important archival. Actually, no, I, I joke around, but like, it is important to look back at the history of a medium. And even, even poor, what may be considered objectively poor examples of the medium, you know? I don't, well, not that I'm saying this is that, this is a mixed bag. No music is, is a, a little weird. Otherwise, it is basically just another level pack for Peggle Deluxe. It feels like the physics are exactly the same. The... Like, even some of the levels are exactly the same. I think in Peggle Knights these rotated, like, faster, though. I-I-R-C. But it's been a little while, so... You know. Harry Potter 2, yeah, that was, that was the best one. I don't know if unironically a good game is exactly the phrasing I would use, but it was the best of the three. Good. It, it does feel like I I need to like talk more, you know? Even though I might not actually need to talk more, I might not actually be talking more, but like it's just it's weird without music. Mm. Maybe they uh I mean listen, music wasn't actually advertised as one of the like, oh, this is one of the features you get when you buy the full version, you know? Nice. Oh, but I still still a rough one. It's like they didn't even advertise that shit. Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh. I really thought that was gonna hit. Ow, ow. Oh! Ah! Um, two goblets full of ghosts? What the fuck? Harry Potter and the Goblet of Ghosts. Drink your juice! You're like, I don't- I don't want to. I don't want to imbibe the ghost chalice. Please. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Ghosts? He doesn't say it that- we were talking about this, this actually, I just edited a Lark Souls where we talked about this. He doesn't say it that crazy in the movie. He just yells a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> and people like to screenshot it uh, alongside, like, Dumbledore stated calmly in the books, and it's like, eh, Dumbledore's different in the movies. 
You're allowed to make shit different. It's just, you know, the stuff they made different kind of sucked in that, in that particular instance. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps this is the origin of, of Jeff's white Russian that he was drinking. We may never know. Just feels weird. It really does feel weird that Cat Tut is the other one and not... Like, Multiball feels like such a natural, like, all right, this is the first cool ability is having multiple balls on screen at once, you know? It makes sense. But here it's like, a uh, Pyramid Pickup is, is your cool new ability? Come on. Nice. Just like, I, I do like the exaggerated versions of it though, where it's just complete gibberish. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Okay. Sure, just take the- yeah, take the punches, take the hits, boom! Right in the face, fuck it! Harry! That's Dumbledore's voice upon realizing that Harry is a pig and has taken a shit on his desk. Though, it's a different voice. Harry! <laughs> Anything like that where it just devolves into gibberish. You know what, actually, I'm gonna pull a complete fucking 180 here. You know what now bothers me is, uh... I wouldn't say bothers, but I'm just kind of like, why are you doing this? Is is the new practice of instead of typing like lol or lmao or whatever, just mashing keys on your keyboard? It's like, all right. Normally, when I like, normally when I see that, I think it's supposed to imply some sort of level of like just complete like I'm so f I'm laughing so hysterically. That, like, I can't even form proper words, you know? But some people have started using it just like... Which, I, I, I guess I kind of get that. Like, that doesn't really bother me. It's like something really funny happens. Okay, I get it. Oh, I'm lost for words. I'm just typing gibberish. Whatever. People just use it as a replacement for lol now, though, in, like, just casual conversations. So, to me, it, it feels like the equivalent of, of like... Uh, somebody laughing way too hard at a joke you know or or at something anything really that happens it's like if you told something just like very mildly funny and they were like <laughs> and you're like oh my god like what the fuck that's what it always like makes me i'm like relax you can type lol you know it's like oh it, it's like physically jarring this is getting old. This is getting old. It's like, what the fuck? Relax. It's weird. I, I don't get it. I, I'm, I'm worried that my neighbors now think that they're living next to the Joker. That wasn't even a Jokery scream. That was like a genuine, like, that was like an Aaron Hansen laugh. That was like when Aaron Hansen fake laughs. That's what it sounds like. Whoa. Damn. I ruined the fucking slide. Fucking annihilated the slide. Joker. The Joker. Uh, this is a fucking lost cause. I'm not even gonna win the level, let alone get a slide. Uh. Uh. I don't know, maybe there's like some context to the like, the, the gibberish lol that I'm missing or, or like some, it's like a reference to so or something I don't know Whoa That was very bizarre Okay, well <laughs> Um <laughs> it's uh, this slide is kind of hard to set up, frankly. 
I, I have done a poor job. But let's see. Let's just see what happens. Anything could happen. Okay, well, not a slide, that's for sure. Wow. Wow, miserable. Lol and Lamau aren't strong enough. There's been, like, power creep because people say Lamau when they're not even amused. Do I mean, you guys know this? People say Lamau when they're, like, angry. Now. Lamau literally connotates anger sometimes. Have you noticed this? People will do it when they're, like, pissed off. People will say Lamau. It sounds weird, but, like, you know? Okay, people are being like, what? That doesn't- no. It's, you know, right? In like a- yeah, in like a condescending tone. It's like the classic- it's like the Wojak that has, uh, the fucking, like, the, like, smug face on the front, but has, like, the crying anger face underneath the mask, you know? That's like the emotion that I get from like the angry Lamau. It's like Omega Lull. Let's talk about Omega Lull. It's not laughing, it's laughing at. Omega Lull is specifically a laugh at emote. Just from like the from how I've seen it used. Lull is for when somebody does something funny. Omega Lull is for when you're laughing at somebody. You know? Hmm. This isn't gonna get a good slide, but maybe it'll get- okay. Oh! Alright! Um... Hmm. Not worth it. <laughs> I don't care enough. Whoa! Oh! Excuse? Did Peggle just crash? Peggle just crashed. Peggle just crashed! Peggle just crashed! Oh no! No, I don't want to do it over again! No! <laughs> Let's see, like, the, when, when the song finishes, maybe? No. Well. Let's, uh, let's just, I'm gonna briefly take that down. Oh, oh, I can't even, oh, I can't even open the cunting window anymore. That's fucking lovely. Yes. Oh, the whole window's frozen. Oh, I'm gonna need to get out the fucking task manager. Oh, it's a task manager type of situation. Oh. Did I just close, no, I thought I just closed OBS for a second. All right, well. Am I gonna need to like recrop it and everything? Fuck. I don't wanna replay this. Oh man, I gotta scroll down too. This will be our good test to see if it's uh, random though. I don't think it is though. I, I honestly don't think it is. I think they just reused a bunch of levels. Okay, oh, thank god. It's saved. Oh, it, is it random? Or is this just the next level? Level 1 out of 10? Holy fuck. Wow. Well, I gotta do it. It's the- it's the decathlon. They're random. That's insane. So maybe that's to make it, like, the sort of thing that you can come back and just play over and over again? That's insanity. Yeah, I'm not- I'm certainly not gonna be going for the fucking 100% clears now. So we may not even see every unique Peggle level in this- in this game. If it's- it might be, like, smart random so you see all the levels. Maybe. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, roguelike, except instead of permadeath, it's just a crash. The game just crashes. So there's just no difficulty curve at all? Well, it's a demo. I don't think you necessarily need a difficulty curve in a demo. And there is because... Presumably the master levels will have different levels from these 
to Peggle Masters. There's a difference between the Peggle Master levels and the Peggle Master levels. Sad but true. Oh, is the pyramid animation working now? Am I seeing this properly? Hold on. Mm. No, it isn't. Okay. Get me the fuck out of here. Also, yeah, you guys got a brief glimpse of the web page that this is on. I guess I'll show it to you when when we're done here. I'll like uncrop it. God, yeah, I'm sorry. Those of you who were thinking that uh, Thousand Year Door was going to come right after this, I'm probably going to take a little break. Because this is like a whole thing. Mm, no. Ah! That was the worst. You heard me getting blue balled. Mm. Sad. Uh, yes, this is Flashpoint. I'm using Flashpoint for this. And it also has other ones. It's got... Uh, I know it has Insane Aquarium. I don't know about any others. Sad. I did basically just make like a, that was a Wheatley voice line. Ah! Well, you tried. Or something like that. He says something like that. I, the lines in Portal 2 I don't have quite as like committed to memory as Portal 1, because I didn't play that game quite as much. And, and simply because I played Portal so fucking much because it was the only game that I had for a while. Shut up. Alright. At least it's helping somewhat. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I realized it's too late there. Fuck. God damn it. It is it is devalued though by the fact that I know these are random levels and that I've probably already seen all the ones that we'll ever see with Cat Tut at this point. You know? Like maybe there's one that I've not seen yet. My friend has like 500 hours in Portal. Damn. That is more than me. And I didn't I didn't think many I'm, I'm sure, you know, some people had that, but damn. That is quite a lot. I think I had like 350 hours. Which is still like that game takes like 4 hours to play for the first time. <laughs> Maybe more than that. It's like, th two or three hours for, like, a comfortable replay through. But I just spent so much time in it. Spe messing around with, like, console commands and shit, too. Mm. No, I'm, I, I think my first playthrough definitely took more than four. That's why I corrected myself. I, I don't mean to... Degrade anybody's own playthrough of it because I, I think I took quite some time on my first as well. That's the way it is with puzzle games. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck the challenges, like the advanced. The advanced test chambers are good, actually. The challenges can fuck right off. The ones about, uh, doing things in a certain number of steps. Fuck that. And, like, a, a certain number of portals, certain number of steps, certain number of time, or a certain amount of time. Those are real annoying. Like, getting the gold medals on all of those. As it happens, though, I did. 
I got all the achievements in Portal. Of course. Oh, look, new level. And, and look, they stopped the slide there. Could have had a slide, they took it away. And this is like some feudal Japan aesthetic that was never in any Peggle game. Maybe in like one of the Tula levels in, in Peggle Knights, but I, I don't remember any specific instance of this aesthetic showing up at all. Because Tula had kind of a world travel theme in Peggle Knights. I don't know if you knew this. I always sound like such an asshole talking about like Peggle lore. Yeah, Portal not only had challenges, but it also had, like, a few of the better test chambers, or a few of the longer test chambers, uh, had, like, advanced, more difficult versions. Like, there's Test Chamber 16, which is the the first instance of turrets, uh, aka Android Hell, and, uh, they basically remade that level, but all the turrets are in cages, so you can't knock them over. So you just have to deal with them being up all the time. Which, it's, it's a nice challenge. It's definitely challenging. This guy looks like he, like, drank a bunch of water and then put it in his, like, upper lip, you know? And you, like, puff it out. Anybody ever do that? He's, like, swishing around mouthwash. God. You know, one of the original Tracy Ullman show shorts for The Simpsons, the reason I was thinking of that like, the Simp burping in The Simpsons is because one of the original Simpsons Tracy Ullman shorts is just uh, Bart and Lisa just sitting there drinking soda, trying to see who can burp the loudest. That was where The Simpsons got their start. It was in, like, really dumb, like, simple sketches like that. I, I, I watched through all of them at a certain point. It's kind of interesting. You can see the origin of a couple characters on the show, like, here and there. Like, I think the first non-Simpsons family character to appear was, like, the pastor. You know, like, oh, I'm the pastor, I, you know, I'm very, like, whitewashed. It was the, I don't even remember his name, but he was the first, he was the first guy. I don't even remember, he must have a name. I don't know why I said whitewashed. I think I meant to say, like, milk toast. I don't know, whitewashed? What the fuck does that mean? It's like a completely different term. I think I meant to say milk toast. Oh, uh, actually, speaking of whitewashing in The Simpsons, and this is not actually a legit thing, but uh, Smithers, who also, I think, is voiced by the same guy as the fucking pastor, uh, who is Mr. Burns' is, like, lackey, uh, he was black in the first episode, but it was just a coloring error. Like, he appears for, like, a scene, and he's just black. <laughs> and it's like, oh, damn, I didn't know Smithers was black. <laughs> but then in the next episode, he's white, so weird. So that's a real example of whitewashing, except they just fucked up coloring him the first time. Cool. Yes, people in The Simpsons are yellow, but did you know there are actually people with just tan skin in the early episodes? The same episode that has Black Smithers has tan-skinned people in it. There's particular. There's one shot in particular that's like a room full of uh, people training to be Santa Claus, and they're all saying like "ho ho ho," you know, in, in unison or whatever. And some of them just have normal skin color, and it's like, what the fuck? And, and sometimes they'll have, like, Asian people will have closer to normal, like, real-life human skin color on the, the Simpsons, but they'll also usually have some sort of other, like, they'll have, uh, their eyes will look more Asian or something like that, uh, to give that impression, or they'll have, like, a slightly different tint to their skin, you know. We weirdly enough, Asian people in The Simpsons are the only, some of the only ones that are exempt from being yellow. Which, I know that's just a weird stereotype. I know Asian people aren't actually yellow, but... I'm just saying, in media, you would expect it to be the other way around. Especially slightly dated media. Ooh. 
Simpsons are green, not yellow. Oh no. We're really in the Berenstein universe. Fuck. Hmm. I just see everyone as yellow. <laughs> I don't see race. We're, we're all yellow. To me. Michael Scott. Fuck. Fuck! I don't want to redo this level. Fuck! Uh, early Simpsons is actually amazing to watch if you're an animation nerd. Not only watching the, like, insane shortcuts they take, but also every once in a while the animation will be, like, weirdly good. And you'll be like, what the fuck was that? Like, they'll change the camera perspective and, like, fully animate a 3D background, like, frame by frame, and you're like, what? And there's also the, uh, the babysitter. There's, like, a scene where, where Bart and Lisa have, like, a psycho babysitter, and she's, like, talking to them, and there's one part where she just animates really, really, really smoothly. And it's like, damn, some, like, intern who was animating this got really bored or some shit like that. There was another one that I noticed. It's really fun to just, like, pause the show and, like, look at things that you weren't probably supposed to look at closely. Like, there was one bit where it was, like, Bart is in school. This has now become a Simpsons animations errors stream or whatever. Not really even errors. It's just shortcuts they took. But, uh, Bart's in school and he realizes they're like they're like oh we're going on the field trip that sucked by the way we're going on the field trip to the uh chocolate factory did everybody bring their permission slip and bart realizes that he forgot it at home and the camera does this like pan across like the entire city of springfield to like go at, to his bedroom where the note is like sitting on his bed or whatever and then it like zooms back to the school and he's like Bleh, or whatever and uh if you slow down the, like, zooming through the entire city, they basically just took, like, one or two little snippets of zooming past things and just, like, used them over and over again. So if you zoom- if you slow it down, it's like he was zooming past, like, 30 different copies of, like, the same kid sitting in some room. That it was- you were only supposed to see it for, for, like, a flash of a second. Or something like that. There was, like... Or it was something about, like, it goes past the walls of a house and then it's outdoors again or something. It's like you're supposed to be inside, but it's outdoors. There was, like, there was, like, some fucked up shit in the blur frames of it. Little, little things like that. Super Jail is another great show for that. Just, like, pausing and being like, oh, look what they did. Hmm. Hmm. I saw the babysitter scene in my recommended recently, but I'm gonna gatekeep here and say I noticed that shit when I was watching through the show a few months ago. I I'm gonna be a Peggle gatekeeper here and say I was already in the know about the unusually smooth babysitter animation. Because I remember going like, what the fuck was that? I have heard the thing about how it, it was, that was the first episode that was meant to be aired. I have, somebody said, I heard that scene was directed by a guy that was a total perfectionist. And everyone hated working for him so much they only used that one scene. I don't know about that, but, hmm. What's your proudest thing you've spotted before mainstream? Um, well I mentioned this in a recent Lark Souls episode, but I totally called that it was going to be Aaron in the Darth Vader suit in Jontron Starcade. From, like, way early on, I was like, oh, that's Aaron in that suit. That's gonna be, like, the reveal. And then at the end, it was the reveal. What are other things I can gatekeep about? I mean, I was really into Slender Man before, like, the game Slender came out. And and so when, it, when that became, like, really popular, and then there was, like, those stabbings and everything, I was like, oh, I knew about this first. Even the poopy ones. Uh, Slender Man is a creation from, uh, Something Awful Forums. It was a- it is a forum character, I believe. And there's, like, a ton of other shit to, like, the Slender Man lore. There's, like, the Rake Monster, there's, uh, Striders, I think they're called, which were, like, these weird, like, long, hairy horses. They, they have long hair, rather. The horses themselves are not long. <laughs> But they're like, horses with like really, really long hair that look really weird and creepy. 
and shit like that. I don't even remember much about like the specifics of them, frankly. But I just remember like going to like the wiki pages and shit. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm sure there's like one other thing that I can that that can be my like my hipster claim, you know. Whatever. Um. Hmm. Ooh, come on. Oh, uh, no slides. The slides are kind of miserable. Someone said the slide physics feel different, and I don't know about that. Maybe. I don't know. People were saying the physics uh, seemed different in Peggle 2 as well. And it, uh, even there, they like weren't super different. I don't know. Those are the ones that immediately come to mind, I guess. But yeah, Simpsons, there's some great errors in those early episodes. There's one part where one of the the two like snobby girls, I forget their names, but like the twin girls, one of them is just a floating head for one scene. And I was like, what? That was a straight up like, you know, the Leonardo DiCaprio pointing at the TV screen. Yeah, Sherry and Terry. I'm sure you can find this on Google somewhere. One of them is just a floating head <laughs> for, a, for a scene. I gotta get back to watching The Simpsons. I I played, or I, I, I watched for like five-ish seasons. And I was thinking maybe like, oh look, here's another, this is a peg layout that we see in Peggle Knights and maybe even normal Peggle, but uh, it was a different image. It was like a ram horns then. So this is the, this is the first, and this is one that also appeared in Peggle 2. So this is one of those, it's kind of like cataloging, I, I always like to think about which punch-out characters are in the most punch-out games, which peggle levels are in the most peggle games. This would probably be the one. Probably be the one that has the most representation. Fuck me. Maybe the slides are different, damn. They really do not seem to want to cooperate. Wow. See, I remember that Simpsons shit, but I don't remember, like, what I ate yesterday. Is, is there something wrong with me? I, I, it, I could not tell you what I'm wearing if I looked down right now. Actually, no, that's not, that's not true. I can feel my clothes. And I have so few outfits that I can tell. I am wearing the shorts that I own. <laughs> my pair of shorts is on my pant, uh, on my leg, on my pants. Is FAQ broken again? That sucks. That FAQ will break and then fix itself and then break again, often. Actually, no, this is like, it, it broke and fixed itself once. Shouldn't say that. Okay. I am beefing it, man. I'm beefing it hardcore here. It's because these slides aren't working out. I'm going to blame it on the slides. I guess it's because that shit in The Simpsons is vaguely interesting. And what I ate yesterday is not. <laughs> you know? I think that's really the kicker. This is not looking like a great attempt either, frankly. But yeah, with Simpsons, I actually... I, I was watching a bunch of it and then I got really into Salty Bet. And I like, uh, that was like the new thing that I used to occupy my time, you know? Huh! Oh! But now that I have, uh, now that I have ditched Salty Bet for the time being, 
I will probably get back on that eventually. Um, any update on the Salty Vet ban? Yes, my alt account also got banned. Thanks for asking. I think here's my working theory. Um, I think I got tattled on. I don't think Salty himself even was like there and was like, oh, this guy's shit talking my game. What a prick. I think somebody who is there, possibly Wabbit Season, because all I know is that Wabbit Season knows Salty personally. That's all I've heard. So, Wabbit Season is there, like, constantly, too. So I almost wonder if I got reported. Because whenever I get banned, it's always just, like, seemingly randomly. Also, good slides, finally. It's always just, like, out of fucking nowhere when I'm, it's, like, nowhere near even complaining about Waifu Wars. But, uh... Yeah, it was really crazy, and, like, I think... See, the thing is, with my new alt account, I wasn't even complaining about Waifu Wars, because I was like, I don't want to get banned again. I'm gonna, you know, accept that that's a thought cr thought crime around here. I can't do that. But then I got banned again, I think because Wabbit, like, figured out... I wasn't, like, particularly trying to disguise the fact that it was me. I was still, like, you know, saying things I would normally say, just not shit-talking Waifu Wars. And, uh... I, I think he tattled on me. I think he tattled to Salty, and then Salty banned me. So yeah, my alt account also got banned, but uh, that, that's not going to stop us from streaming it still eventually. So I guess if you go on there, uh, don't talk shit about Waifu Wars. I, I heard recently actually that there was, like a couple years ago, there was like some sort of big blowout where like a ton of bans happened, and it was like people who asked about why people were getting banned were getting banned, you know? And so I almost wonder if this is just a continuation of that. Like, there's just some poor modding practices going down, you know? I I've seen it on Reddit before, where a mod just sort of gets, like, power-hungry, you know? And, and just starts, like, completely acting, like, fucking tyrannical. Like, I used to ban people on Discord a lot, but, uh, you wouldn't fucking believe how bad people would act on Discord, you know? But I've, like, seen it where people just are, like, they, like, just snap and start going fucking crazy. Like, I would not ban people for asking why someone else is banned, for instance, on Discord. Please, more slide. Just a crumb of slide, please. A crumb! Thank you. And Jimmy Lightning is not in the game, so when we got an extreme slide, he didn't come up and go, Hoppy! That's interesting. This is pre... uh... pre-toasty. It, it feels especially lame when you get like zero fucking pegs. <laughs> it just goes, Hoop. Is Discord a banned word? Apparently not. <laughs> I'm still like creeped out. Come on. Come on. Come on! I'm level 8 out of 10. I swear to God. Thank you! I guess that was just a one-time crash, and also, this is the fucking Giorno Giovanna level from, uh... Spring Fever as well, and this is one of the ones that I used to farm getting a really good score shot. Because you always get a good score shot on this level. I don't think it was the one I used for that ch the challenge in particular, but I just did it in my off time. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I have nothing to say. 
Nothing to say, but what a day. How's the boy been? The, the ball has like a glow to it. Somebody earlier said the ball has an aura. It does have an aura. You're right. You know what's, uh, those of you who have never really been into the Beatles, here's a cool song. Good morning, good morning. It's a song nobody ever fucking talks about, but it's a good Beatles song. It's got fun saxophones in it. It's not like their best work. It's definitely some of their more like poppy stuff, but it, it's good. And nobody ever talks about it. I used to have it as my, uh, I, I used to have a CD player that also had an alarm clock function. And I, whoop. Damn, I burned a CD that just had Good Morning, Good Morning on it. Just so I could have it as my alarm. Boom. Yes, and then it has animal crowing and roaring sounds at the end. Okay, I swear to damn. This shit had better not crash. This would be the worst time... I only want one man with a thing on This is the longest night. Okay. You guys want to see a good music video? Go Google the words Cancer Jesus. On, actually, no, go to YouTube and type in Cancer Jesus. If you go to Google and type Cancer Jesus, you're gonna find some depressing shit. And just trust me. Actually, I don't know if this is still a trick that works. I don't know if the Cancer Jesus trick still works. I don't know if it'll send you to the right video. But it's a music video for a song, and you'll see. Not looking super good. Also, I think it's very possible, actually, that we have that we have not seen some levels in this. It, it remains to be seen if the master world will be uh, will be different levels. If the master world is just the same levels but without power ups, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm even want to finish this. That would be crazy. I don't know if that's a thing. Why am I doing this? Just pop the power up. Yes, hot chip, I feel better. But it's... It, it's good. It's, it's good to just type in Cancer Jesus instead. It, this video actually features Tilda Swinton. Fun fact. In, in one of her most, uh, bizarre roles to date. <laughs> people, people are just now getting to the part of the video that has Cancer Jesus and they're like, Oh my god! I saw like multiple people in chat be like, Here, there he is! Yes, with Tilda Swinton as Cancer Jesus, yes. It's funny seeing people just react to this in real time. Uh, but yeah, classic video. Absolute classic. I only want one night We're dancing arms to one This is the longest night <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Does that count? Does that count? Oh! <laughs> Task manager! Literal worst time, the literal last second. Oh my god.
I don't think if I had to guess, I would say that probably did not count. I'm not optimistic. I, I would say if, if you had to go for my professional opinion, I would say that probably did not count. Fuck me. Hone your Peggle skills with these tricky tests. Okay, can I Google and see if the fucking, like, Masters Only is anything, or if it's just these levels with nothing? Original Peggle. I just want to see if there's even, is there even, like, footage on this? Peggle, all missions, full game. No, this is Peggle Deluxe. This, this is Peggle Deluxe. I want Peggle. Hmm. I don't even know. I don't. I don't think there's information out here, on there. That is miserable. That is miserable. Peggle browser. I think th there's like not a single fucking person on the planet who like even like knows that this version exists. <laughs> I'm not seeing any on here. There's like there's no information on this. Fucking hell. Literally, it could not have come at a worse time. Oh. Whoa. I did not know you can just turn off channel points. Um, if you never turn them on at all. Then, then you don't have them. Uh, what about Peggle Trial? I don't know what that is. Uh, I, I assume, you know, when I was looking at the results there, I, I think I saw one that just said Peggle on the, on the front cover, but it, it was all the levels from Peggle Deluxe. So basically, if there's a version of Peggle Deluxe that's basically just all the content and levels from Peggle Deluxe, but in this uh, engine, then no, I will not be playing. That's, that's basically the same as... That's like if I wanted to play every different console edition of Peggle Deluxe, you know? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not a fan of channel points. I, I don't want to do that. I, I, really, <laughs> I really just don't. Sorry. Fucking nightmare. Yeah, just go in. End it. At the very least, hopefully we see one more level that we would have otherwise missed. That's the only possible upside for this. The only possible upshot. It's like, God, and, like, the only abilities we have are ones that, like, really don't help at all with clearing pegs. I mean, Cat Tut's ability does sometimes, and, like, Bjorn's ability is, like, basically useless at a certain point. So it's like, I can't even rush through these levels with, like, the dragon power-up or whatever, you know? So I, I, I really don't know, uh, I, I have never heard of Peggle Trial, but if, again, if it's just Peggle Deluxe, but, like, crusty, then no. I'm already on the fence about doing Dual Shot, which is basically just a DS port of, uh, Peggle and Peggle Knights, but it has unique levels. That's, that's what is, that's the qualifier. Hmm. Uh, are there
Are there any crusty Peggle clones out there? Yes, there are. Uh, we've played them. <laughs> uh, some of them are less crusty than others. There, there's recent ones, Peglin and Round Guard, which are both roguelike Peggles. Um, and then there was Karchenko on, on Flash Game Friday, which is a Cars 2 themed Peggle game. It's real. Boom. I was clearing my throat while that happened, so I had my mic muted. So yeah, there is there is Peggle on the DS. It's uh I've actually heard it's bad. Somebody in I remember somebody in chat being like, don't play Peggle Dual Shot, it's terrible. But that that's one that I don't plan on playing anytime soon, even if I do play it. Because that'll be like That'll be like the coming back to Peggle for nostalgia and playing a new, playing the final game in the series. It's like at a certain point here, uh, th this might become a two-parter stream because I, I might just go off stream and just like listen to a fucking podcast while I grind to beat this and have it not fucking crash on me. It didn't crash on level 10 both times, did it? Last time I was on, or when it crashed on the lollipop level, I was on like level 6 or some shit like that, right? And then, and then the second time it was in fact at level 10. It was level 8. Ugh. Pretty miserable. I wonder if the chances of it happening increase as we do more levels. That would suck. Truly. But I do kind of want to see the end of this. I mean, it would suck to just not do it because it's broken. <laughs> that like, that really crusty like whistling firework sound effect just gets me. It just gets me. Just like my therapist gets me. Wow, uh, I hate this. <laughs> that made an interesting little tone. Boom, 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 boom. Eh, no. Lame. I'm the fucking cat guy! Oh, oh, oh. Fuck you. Why are you in here and not Jimmy Lightning? Or at least, like, Splork. Because Splork was the other one besides Bjorn in, uh... World of Warcraft Edition. And then in Peggle Extreme, of course, they only had Bjorn. And that's why nobody plays Peggle Extreme. Which, Peggle Extreme actually is a great, like, what-the-fuck streamer game, you know? Because it's so, like, especially because of that fucking head crab on the, on the main title screen. That shit is just like, literally, how did this make it into the game? Speedrun. This is not optimal. With a speedrun, you would want the ball to fall to, uh... If you're doing just a single peg shot like that, you would want the ball to fall off the screen as fast as possible. Oh. <laughs> Do people speedrun this? I don't think anybody has played this since it came out with the amount of content I've seen for original Peggle on YouTube. I couldn't even find any, although I didn't look for very long, admittedly. Please. This is a hard level. Two. <laughs> what? It did feel like there was like more drop off than I was expecting there. More Peggle? Is this a dream? No, my friend, this is a nightmare. Welcome to my special hell. F 
fuck? <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Oh, that was not very good either. Maybe. Oh, no. Thank you. Fuck. Couldn't have, couldn't have spared another one. Couldn't. That's so creepy. Okay. It's creepy. No music looking at Cat Tut's face. What do you think he feels behind those eyes? Oh my god. Wow. That was good. Uh, if this crashes again, though, I don't know. I don't know about continuing this, mate. Because it just keeps happening. Okay, at least get the, like, the clean like wipe of all of them, you know? Get a clean wipe. The wipe comes back clean. Fuck. Alright. That yeah, was probably good. It's probably enough to uh, even win me the level, I, I would say, but anything could happen. <sighs> even that wasn't a perfect slide. Did you see how I threaded the damn needle there? That was some pro shit. Okay, that wasn't very pro. That was considerably less pro. I guarantee you Redez has never even played this, by the way. Speaking of pros... I, I guarantee Redez has never played Peggle. You want, you want a bold statement? Redez has never played Peggle. Get on my level, man. Alright, please. Patrick Starr, for the love of God, put some pants on, man. You look weird naked. <sighs> Not looking good. Imagine if it was like the decathlon, and I, I had to do all of these in one go. Without losing at all. That would add a little bit of extra stress. Fuck. <laughs> ah! I'm just like throwing this attempt away, honestly. Just get it out of here. Oh! -ho! Alright, time for a hundred free ball coin flips now. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. Alright, any moment now. Any second. Any second now. Uh, okay. 50 50, by the way. <laughs> I think they're actually, this is making me suspect that maybe there is. When you're at, like, the last ball, it might change the percentage. And that might, like, skew the numbers, you know? I'd be interested to see. Because that really, like... That in particular... Made me think that because I got three no balls. Three out of four were no ball when I had more than one left. But when I had one left, then I got, like, 20 in a row. Mm. 
not what I meant to do. Okay. <laughs> but I'm starting to suspect maybe that's a mechanic. Um, I would love to ask the developers about this, but I think they were all ritualistically killed by EA, right? Didn't they kill them or something? I seem to remember hearing about that. They killed a bunch of guys? <clears throat> Get me out of here. <laughs> Alright, this is this is one we had not seen yet, but this is also in the spring fever pack. It's interesting, we haven't seen any from the Christmas pack, so we know and and maybe this is elucidating why the spring fever pack comes with Peggle Knights. It was a 3 in 10,000 chance of getting all those coin tosses in a row, if it was 50-50, I assume, you're saying. And that's, that's pretty good odds. Hmm. You can recognize them at a glance? What, like the Peggle levels? Yeah. I can. This is the world we live in. No. Not looking good, by the way. I should have got those way earlier. You gotta be uh, using the abilities from early on to get the full usage out of them. Abusagement. Okay. It's just heart of the cards. Alright, well. Heart of the cards worked. Please. Every time that extreme fever text comes up, I like a tense now. Just getting closer to the end so that it can be even more agonizing, folks. Don't you worry. Mm. Froggers. It is interesting. I guess Zuma predates Peggle, then. This is confirmed. Or maybe it doesn't, and this is like some fucking Marth in Melee shit. In like North America, where we everybody was like, who the fuck is Marth? Maybe when people played this originally, they were like, who the fuck is this fucking frog? No, I bet they wouldn't. If, if that was the case, they wouldn't even think about it. They wouldn't even care. They'd just be like, oh, it's a frog. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking about Roy. Yeah, he came into a- he was in a game before his game came out anywhere. That's probably the one I'm thinking of. Three balls left! Don't waste your balls! Please. The, why- Oh, the letters! Did you see, like, the letters became transparent when the ball was behind them, I think? Maybe when I was mousing over them? Okay, for the fucking love of god. Please, just fit- like, if this doesn't finish, then I'm just gonna turn off the stream. And- and next time we can fucking- I'll just grind to beat this so we can do the fucking master levels off- uh, on stream next time. Good attempt. Did you guys like that video, by the way? Good video, huh? Seeing a lot of good reviews for that video.
Come on, let's get this over with. Just get to the dis the inevitable disappointment. Fuck. All right, well. Looking like we're getting met halfway on the disappointment factor there. That's cool. Oh, it was different. Fuck. Oh, right. This isn't Peggle 2. Sad. I guess, I, I don't know if that even would have worked in Peggle 2, frankly. It's just a weird turn of events in that video, like, it shifts from being like, oh, this is sinister, to like, oh, okay, no, the, it's just a weird guy they're dancing with, and then it's like, oh, no, no, it's very sinister, he's murdering them, I see, why, yes, I certainly do see, oh, and then there's this giant head, cool. And then the head starts singing along, and you're like, wait. Okay. Um. This game sucks. Where are the farts and asses? Someone says. Uh, you weren't, by any chance, a focus test group member for Peggle 2, were you? For market research by EA Corporation? And then, you know what this means, though, right, chat? Not only might we get uh, denied the beating of this, of this segment again by a glitch, there's also the master levels to do, where I also might get denied the ability to, to play the video game. Fuck. Revisiting Peggle? What? I've never played this. Mm. Oh, it almost got it. It almost got it. I only want one night. If it seems too hard. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. All right, that was basically what I wanted. Get that one too. Fuck. 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 Okay. It really is like a nightmare, though. They gave me all the worst power-ups. Fuck. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. I'll frickin' bonk ya. Okay, thank you. Oh, that was real fucking bad. Okay, goddamn. Can't even beat this level. Can't even get to the part where it glitches out and doesn't let me pass. Fuck. And by the way, I don't think there's a restart button. Nope. This sucks. Uh, this is terrible. It sucks that there's no there's no reset. So just if you have a shit run, it's just like congratulations, have fun playing the rest of this out and then losing. Wow. Try it again. Oh. Yep. 
you know what? Fuck this. I don't even want to test it, man. I just want to finish this shit. Not a not an easy level either. It's like they accidentally put a difficulty curve at this part. God damn it, and then it had to go do that? Why'd you have to go disappear super fast? Come on. Hit him. Hit him all. Hit every peg. Every peg. <laughs> Miserable. Miserable rat, see if I care. Hen, hen. Oh, good. Get ready to rock. Fuck. Oh, this is, this is misery. Getting a promotion. Pfft. God damn it. Frickin' die. This is awful. Ugh. God damn it! Ugh. I, I, you guys know I have the peggle brain. The sink, it's not out of sync. I just knew that wasn't gonna hit it. I knew. The sync, the audio is perfectly well synced up. I just knew before it was even there that it wasn't going to hit. Wow, and, and miserable. I can't reset when I have like a rough first like attempt. It's an effective model to make you want to play the normal game, because the normal game, like, works and has good power-ups. Mm-hmm. Get more. Get more. Thank you. There's like a warble on those peg hit sounds. Alright, show me the money. Show me the crash. Are you good? Are you good, game? Oh my god! How hard was it to just work? Oh, and then, yeah. It's... They're not even good. Ho 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 ho! Alright, but look at this. This is the menu. This is the menu from Peggle. So I just need to score 3,000 points. Or 300,000, rather. Big difference. Fuck. Oh, that was... That was a crucial miss of the purple block there. That was- that was a pretty crucial moment that I've- I've now missed. Uh, this is probably actually gonna be really fucking hard. Cause I only have fucking Cat Tut and Bjorn to do this. This is actually gonna suck. Because I'm- I'm trapped with the worst abilities. At least these ones, I think, it actually saves your progress and isn't just a row of ten random levels. That shit's pretty dumb. Okay, yeah, this is a complete fucking lost cause. Shit. Retry level. There, there it is. Why, why not just put that in the menu? 
What the fuck? Put that shit in the menu, dinguses. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, it didn't even go in the bucket. What a piece of shit power-up that is. I'm sorry, people were saying I was being too mean to Cat Tut, but it's true. It's it's a piece of shit power-up. Sucks. Oh wow, that's good. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Really fucking cool. Um, let's just... No. Okay. <laughs> you don't get an Eye of the Pyramid bonus, by the way. In this one. You just get free ball. <laughs> this- this sucks. Super long shot. Actually, that's really good. That helps a lot. This will help a lot. <laughs> it's too quiet. It's too quiet. This isn't how Peggle was meant to be. Okay. But apparently it was, because this is- this is Peggle. This is literally Peggle. I thought this was gonna be- I thought this was gonna take 20 minutes. I don't know if you get like the Omega free ball skills, you know? Mad skills? So now there's a- there's a chance. Oh. Good. That's good. That's good. Oh! Okay! Or I could accidentally solve the level. I really thought I was safe. But, uh, I guess that's happening. God damn it. I know where this is going. I have Peggle Brain. Oh! Oh, shit! It went in the 50k? My Peggle Brain was wrong. And I'm happy it was. I knew for sure it wasn't going in the 100k, but it went in the 50k. I'll take it. Oh, man. That's good, because that one was going to be a- I feel like that one was going to be a pain in the ass. Hit 35 orange pegs. Okay, this is... First iteration of this challenge that we saw like a trillion times throughout the series. It's just increased number of orange pegs, making it ever so slightly more difficult. I don't think it's super significantly more difficult, but maybe it is? I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, I'm just a peggle player. God damn it. There's sometimes those shots where you're just like, if anything had gone different, if like even a single, like one single factor of that shot had gone different, I would have got a free ball for like if it had hit anything, but it threaded the needle and hit nothing. Or like it hit none of the pegs that had a lot of uh, fever juice or jism as it is sometimes known. We call fever jism in the States. It's like a thing. Why did I do that? Why did I... I didn't wait for the bucket to be there. That was... Rather foolish of me. But I did it. First try. 10k. I don't even care. Every single brick and peg. Every single one, and it doesn't even let you choose the Peggle Master. It's just like, nah, fuck you. You're using cat damn tut for this one. Come on. Nice. That was very close. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of used to being the only streamer on Twitch playing my current category. This is, this is something that happens sadly often. 
Fuck. Okay. Okay, there you go. Finally. I was like, if you thread the needle here, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm a Kavuya. Mm. Nice. Alright, Pyramid actually did something good for once in its damn life. Okay, now I need to be careful about the orange pegs. Should probably just leave one that one up there, you know? Okay, or or I could really come very close to hitting it straight away. Ooh. I feel like these ones are the top priority. Yeah, there you go. Top priority while I have the pyramid power, you know. And now I think I can just start picking them off one by one. Right. I don't know if this is going to hit that orange one or not, frankly. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna save that other blue one for last. Oh! Imagine if it just like bounced up all the way from the bucket rim to that bucket. Oh! <laughs> it wanted to. It wanted to. No, I win. Um. It's it's like impossible to do a bucket bounce from there, right? Let's try it here. No. Fuck that. Get him out of here. Don't glitch, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I swear the letters don't disappear to, like, the letters fade away in Ultimate Extreme Fever. Which is weird. That's not a feature in normal Peggle. 350,000. Oh my god. I got Bajorn. God damn it. I guess they're like I guess they're saying use super guide or get the get the long shots. Which I hear you. I hear you, brother. I'll do it. Uh Can't quite get to that purple one though. So I'll skip to my loo. What does that mean? What, what the fuck do you mean, skip to your loo? Like the bathroom? To skip to my loo means I'm, I'm happily going to the bathroom. Alright. Hmm. Skip to my Lou Reed. I think the long shots are the way to go. This is a decently easy level to like kind of farm them with, although not super reliable. The super guide. By the way, I ordered a new GameCube controller. I chatted with Andrew about it. And I was like, usually we use my two, like, basically okay GameCube controllers. But I was like, I'm going to buy a, a decent one. And how about you just bring yours from now on? Because I know he has one. Shit. And, uh... So, yeah, that's the plan for next time. Hopefully my new controller shows up before the stream. Although it actually might. It's It might not. It's going to be kind of close, I think, so we'll see.
But if not, it's not the end of the world. I'll just use one of my kind of cruddy controllers. And then uh, if I lose, then it'll be because of the controllers. Whoa. Uh, oh. Skip to my Waterloo, someone said. <laughs> I don't think I actually would have... Uh, would I have even got 350k? But that was... 50-50. I still wouldn't have won the challenge. Or maybe I would have. There might have been some extra little bonus. 50-50, folks. Uh, and now everything's in a terrible spot, and I can't... Wait. Abandon challenge. Please. Okay, I was going to say, if that gets rid of the other ones, I'm going to scream. But you want to get the super guide first off. And then... Uh... Sorry. I gotta. I gotta. I simply gotta. Oh, oh, does that work? Oh God, does that work? Yeah, nice. Barely, it barely works. Okay, let's try getting a slide here. Just cause that's a high orange peg density. It is your density. Whoa. Whoa! Pretty slick. Pretty slick. Um... Ah! Uh, shit! Ah! Uh, uh. I haven't been getting the long shots here. That's the like that's the last one I'll probably ever be able to get in, in this particular run. So I gotta go for the, the all clear. Ooh, never mind, super long shot. <laughs> Sad. God damn it. I was playing with fire, but it happened. Mm. Ah! Oh god. No, we actually can't do this. Wow, that sucks. Oh, there you go. It's a long shot, but uh, it worked. Get it? Do you understand my joke? Fuck. Oh, yeah, ruin all the slide, why don't you? Why don't you? God damn. And there's like no orange pegs on top to get the, the long shots with. Or there are very few. Super long shot? No, sad. Super long shot needs to be like across the entire goddamn stage. That shit's gotta go far. This is this is insanity, by the way. That this was this long. I mean, it, the only reason it was this long is because it crashed like right before I solved the second world twice in a row. I, I guess so. Really, I, this is like my third attempt on this challenge. It's really not that crazy. Oh, hi. Let's just see what we get. Sad. We get sad. We get fucking coal in our stocking. Hmm. Hmm. 
No, there's not even anything good. There's not even anything good to do over there. Oh. What? That arc was way off. Did anybody else think that super guide arc was way off? See what happens. <laughs> Christ. Well, that's a lost cause too, but might as well just complete the level and see if a miracle happens, you know? Like a genuine miracle. Like a Christmas miracle. No, we can go right in the trash. You were unable to beat the challenge. Okay, and now the green pegs are in a terrible, terrible spot. Come on. Oh. Piss. Piss on your chips. Okay, that that angle, that that super guide was perfectly fine. There's another one that was like, what? Watch out for that tree. It just did that riff. George, 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 George. That's from that movie George, right? It's just a, a guy named George. Mm, God. That's the thing about like, oh, just farm long shots. I, we we were over this in uh, in Peggle Nights. It's much easier said than done because there's a lot of time there's just like not long shots to make. This is basically a completely lost cause. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that. Okay, as long as I got a free ball somehow, I'm fine with that. Um, see if I can. Ooh, nice. Lung shoot. Oh, and get the slide, please. Uh, lame slide, but whatever. Didn't even go in the bucket. Didn't even go in the goddamn bucket. Ah, oh, miserable. Simply miserable. Pah. All right, it's better than nothing. I mean, I'll I'll take these, but I I don't want these. <laughs> ba bum bum bum. Nope. By the way, nope. Watch out for that tree. George, 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 George. His name is George. Watch out for the tree. Okay. I'm just futzing around, honestly. Because, like, I could still maybe get it, but, uh, only, only if a miracle happens, which it doesn't look like it will. Because I need fuck ton of points for this. Please, no. God, and there's, there's none up here. I mean, no, if, I don't think that's gonna do one either. Oh, no, it did. Okay. Can it get something? No, it can't. It can't literally get a single other peg. That is the answer to that question, is no, it cannot. <laughs> it's interesting that they, they were just like, yeah, sure, this level, yeah. Too, you know? 
like it kind of just seems it feels like they just sort of arbitrarily chose levels for the the challenges long shot uh this is looking pretty okay um till i fuck it up gorsh mm. all right yeah <sighs> okay, I've still got Super Guide, but it doesn't really look like I can do very much with it. I could just go like full fucking Heart of the Cards mode. Not really. Actually, I was damn close. But no cigar. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh... Okay. I'll take it! See, I do- I know I have six free balls right now. So, I really could just go for the heart of the cards. But I don't know if I trust the heart of the cards right now, frankly. Sorry, you'll just have to sit here in silence while the owl fucking stares you down. The fucking, like, Monka S owl. Monk Owl S? <sighs> I think we're probably good at this point, but let's just keep going. That was not good. Okay, still got it. Yeah, they never thought to make music for Peggle. How crazy is that? Hmm? Well, doesn't look like we're gonna get the all clear. I mean, uh, who knows? Maybe it'll fucking glitch out. Let's see! <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Hopefully. Oh, and I got the 100k. Oh, wait. I didn't even get it. No, wait, I didn't even get it with the 100k. What am I thinking? That sucked. Oh god damn it. Okay. Well, there's there's they're all over on one side. That one didn't even get it. <laughs> Watch it not get a free ball. Yep. 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 <laughs> Peggle brain. I know I'm not getting a free ball there. What's that Super Freak song? Maggot Brain? Only a few letters away from Peckle Brain. Oh. <sighs> Shit, I probably could have gone for a long shot there, actually, now that there were more pegs exposed. Too late now. Come on, give me a super long shot, you piece of shit. You piece of super long shit. You filthy animal. Keep the change. Alright. Nice. That was pretty good. Rare instance of having to eyeball with the super guide. That was good shit. Hmm. Now that's a clean burn in hell, I tell you what. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, well, I... Mm. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty difficult. Oh, this, this sucks, man. This really does. Bite the big one. Mm. Fun. Fun, 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 till the fun, 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 fun. This is basically an ace score from Peggle Knights that has come back to fucking haunt me from beyond the grave. You realize this, right? Because you're stuck with Bjorn. You have to use Bjorn for this challenge. It really is like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, he's ruined the whole slide, yeah! My only hope is these long shots. Okay, oh, what, what the fuck was that? Not that shit. Just keep getting long shots over and over again until eventually it, something works. Your super guide is the only thing you can rely on in this bitch of an earth. Alright, I got some points now. That's something. Sure. See that. Whatever whatever happens there will just happen. And then that'll be that. Okay. These are my thoughts as as of recently is ooh Someone said 50k more and then also get every peg as well Additionally, okay, and now there's a very high risk of me accidentally beating the level So that's good Someone drop a pin in here? I mean, it was quiet, silent. I think I heard a pin drop. Oh my god, I was gonna say, if this manages to somehow hit that orange peg, I'm gonna cry. Please win, please win, please win, please win, please win. I think we might be good, folks. It didn't glitch with the words. Please win, please don't glitch, please don't glitch, please don't glitch. Hmm. Yay! Oh my god, phew! I was on the edge of my seat. Alright, three balls for the whole level. Oh, and it's the easy level though. This is this was a this was a good level. Alright. The Ghost Chalice Challenge with Cat Tut is the final level. My god. Mm. 
It might be tough, but I do get free balls. Some of the other challenges in the other games, you wouldn't even get the bucket. Mm. This will probably take a few attempts as well. Um. That was good. That was a good use of that ball. Watch out for that ball. Weed, 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 weed. Okay. Yes, at least these attempts will go quicker. Exactly, chat. Na 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 na. It really is kind of just waiting to get lucky on some of these single ball or this one's just three. Remember the one that just had one ball for the whole level? That one was surprisingly easy because it was just a really easy level. Oh, okay. Sad. Na, 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 na. It's true, most people just have two. Good joke. It's a good joke. I do keep uh, seeing the ball count and being like, wow, I really, like internally in my head, I'm like, wow, I really blew it on this level. If I have this many pegs left and I, I don't have a single free ball, I really screwed the fucking pooch on this one. I really cat tutted this situation. Hmm. That's true, the average man has two balls. Damn. That's absolutely- you're absolutely right, chat. The average person has one. Probably like one and like some decimals. Oh, well that wasn't very good as a start. God, it's not very conducive to slides uh, in the same way that some of the other levels are, though. Like the the one, the single ball challenge level, that's a well-crafted slide. Here, it's like you're not even gonna get that shit. Oh. In fact, it's sort of constructed in such a way that you will almost never get a slide there. As it happens. Good. Good. I feel like there's really not a whole lot of, like, planning I could be doing. This is terrible, actually. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it is, because, holy fuck, the level isn't actually easy. It's easy when you got ten balls. But like, damn, that sucks. Because I remember uh, in one of them, no, I think the decathlon is always the last challenge. But I always feel like they're like, oh, the, the one with like the least amount of balls that you get to use is always the hardest one. It's like not necessarily the case. Uh, this, this sucks, actually. This really sucks. Because, like, the level doesn't work. It doesn't... You get, like, nothing when you go down. Look at that. If Literally, if these pegs were higher up, this level would work. If these two pegs and these two pegs here were higher up, then you would actually be able to slide in the level. And there might be a reason we don't see this level in Peggle Deluxe or Peggle Knights. It doesn't fucking work. Wow. This is, uh, th this is terrible.
This, this is awful. I have like zero, there is no strategy that I can do for this. God, just if those two pegs at the very bottom were just a little higher up. I just want to go fix this level for them, because that would literally fix the level. Look at that, they literally never get past there with their momentum. That's awful, it's like they didn't play test it. Wow, and it's not even gonna go in. Oh, barely went in. But I mean... Fuck me, right? This is awful. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That popcap, you did a really bad job on this, uh, on making this level. I'm, I'm really glad that this is not in the rest of the Pygol games because th there's, ooh, there's problems. This level has problems. Man. This level has damn problems. Please. Please. Please, just a crumb of slide. Please. A crumb. A single crumb. Like a single fucking, like, a, 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 a pixel of slide. Please. This is awful. Like, there's just nothing I can do to control this. It's just throw attempts until it finally lucks out, basically. This is terrible. Oh my god. They, they didn't make the level right. They didn't make it right. But I don't even feel like I can complain because I don't even know if PopCap themselves remembers that this exists, you know? D has anybody ever told PopCap that they made Peggle? Um, this is still so fucked. We're getting to the point where I almost have input on the video game now, though. There you go. I actually have, like, some agency, but even this. Even this is bunk, I tell you. That was good. <laughs> hmm. How can we help? God damn. Do I just, do I really just need to like go across? I feel like the, uh, the pointer is a little shorter on this one, too. In this game. Like, this little arrow that you get is shorter. Maybe not. Maybe that's John's. <laughs> that sucked. That's rip. Yeah. That is, uh... This, this sucks. It's like, up to a certain point, this is literally just luck, and then I actually get to play the game for a little bit there. You know? <sighs> Please. Thank you. Um, how about there? Okay. Nothing too bad there either, I see. Mm. Shit. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here, man? Alright. 
Ok. Knew that one was going to go off at a bit of a funny angle. Mmm. Oh, Christ, you're kidding me. Okay, at least I can get that one. But now what? Please hit the purple. Okay, or you could not do that. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna fucking happen. Uh... Oh, that was close. That was real close. But that was that was a pretty fucked situation to be in there. Oh my fucking god, the level worked for a second. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not even the run though, because look, I just lost one ball. That's it. GG. One out of like a trillion fucking shots. It finally fucking the level did what the level is clearly designed to be able to do. Or meant to be designed to do. Uh, one in like six million fucking shots. It finally did what is clearly the very basic premise of the level. And I didn't even get to play the game that time. Oh my god. It was almost real. I really just have like zero fucking input on this, like... This really is just roll the dice until you get it eventually, by pure fucking luck. And, like, of course they give you the worst guy for this, too. Of course they give you the fucking worst guy. I, there are no good guys in this game. There's no, there are no good Peggle Masters in this game, so of course they give you the bad guy. At least I got a free ball there. I have nothing to say anymore because this is just- I may as well just flip a coin. This challenge may as well be... Get like 30 coin flips in a row. You know, get- like, call a coin flip 30 times in a row. That may as well be what this is. God damn it. So close. So fucking close. Even this, like, they're all spread out, you know? And the pyramid power is literal garbage. As evidenced, we got the classic, it doesn't go all the way to the side of the screen, making it literally worse than the normal bucket. That's a cool moment. Happened again. That is actually, I've talked about this before, I don't mean to just jawn all the time, but this really is the perfect storm of awful for the final challenge. You could literally fix the pyramid pickup, just make it go all the way to the side. Literally, why doesn't it? Name me a single reason why it wouldn't go all the way to the side. It's like, just to make it bad. Like, look at that. 
Look at that. That's the exact, like, li literally it's just bad because of that. Like, they, they could have made it good, and they made it bad instead. They could have made it good, and they made it bad. I don't know, it's like, is there, is there anything I can convince this to do? What I want it to do? Anything I can do to, to make it be in the fucking, like, mood to work? <clears throat> like, that really would fix the ability, seriously. I think it's supposed to be that, like, the pyramid power is designed around the levels that, like, funnel the ball down to, like, the, the bottom here, like, kind of like this one. But guess what? Even on this one, just make it go all the way to the side like the normal bucket. There's a reason the bucket goes all the way to the side. Okay, good. Fun. Very fun. Hmm. It's not even, like, faster to do that. Like, seriously, shall I just get a coin out and start tossing it? That's about as fun as this. Just, just, let's see if I can get 50 heads in a row. Literally more fun than the last le level of Peggle. Like, weirdly enough, the challenges were, that had less balls were easier, like, way easier. This is like the combination of, like, a broken character and a broken level. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Wow, man. Wow. I, I got nothing left to say but wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Are there more than usual amounts of orange pegs? It seems normal to me. I think there's normally 25. This, this is fucking misery, man. This is awful. This is so much harder than all the other, like, low ball challenges. The other ones just feel like a, like a bonus game, if anything, where it's like, here, here's just a little fun thing. Oh, toss attempts at it for like two minutes and then it actually works because the level actually works and we made the game work. Here it's like, fuck you. <laughs> My god. We're bigger than Jesus. We're bigger than Jesus. This sucks. This fucking sucks, man. It's like, this is, this feels like arcade, you know, like arcade game. Where they go, how about absolutely fuck the player? But here's the thing. I don't have to pay a quarter every time I play this. This is just bad. Th this is just badly designed. It's not even, like, it's, it's not even a scam like an arcade machine. It's just bad. It's gambling with no reward. Yes. That is precisely what it is. It is gambling with nothing that you get in return. Watch me beat it and then it'll fucking glitch out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just move those pegs up. It's like, did they play this challenge? This I'm getting the same feeling that I got from the Peggle Knights. 
uh, ace scores, where I'm like, I, I genuinely don't even think they played all of these to test them before putting them out. Because if they had tested it, they would have noticed that the level, like, doesn't work. <laughs> like, 90% of the damn time. Oh. Good. It's, it's like, now what? I can't make it slide down there. There is no thing on Earth that I could do to, like, actually force it. Like, maybe with the heart of the cards. It's like, it's not gonna slide down that, because it's a fucking vertical slope. It simply can't. This really does suck. Hmm, man. Man, if only there was a solution to that little situation that happened there. That's crazy, though, that there isn't a solution to that situation that just happened there. Oh, wait, you could make the power-up good. Right. Forgot about that. You could just make the power-up good. You could make it good. And there you go. And once more, the fact that the pyramid power is literally not good has fucked us over, in fact. Even on a level that is specifically designed for it, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, and let's not forget the time the game literally crashed. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh, barely got in there. It's like, if you don't get a good start, then definitely reset. Like, you're fucked. I mean, you're probably still fucked, even if you get a good start. Let's keep it real here. So yeah, yeah, hit a few less pegs, please, game. Thank you. <sighs> cool. That's cool. <laughs> Oi, fucking vey. This was so close to being, like, basically acceptable. <laughs> this was... Tripped on the finish line, Peggle. Tripped on the fucking finish line. That's all I gotta damn say. Tripped just, like, ate shit on the, tri on the finish line. Like, possibly died falling over on the finish line. Like, you got sent to the fucking ER from an injury sustained over a finish line. This is like if Half-Life 2 had actually ended with Alex and Eli just making out. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's like, I, I got nothing. And it's like when the power-up isn't near the top, I'm like, oh, god. If, if I had that- by the way, if I had a real power-up, this would be the easiest fucking thing ever. Maybe that's what makes it easy in the other ones, is that you actually get to choose a real power-up. That helps you, and isn't a detriment. And maybe I shouldn't even go for the green pegs, if I'm saying that. Good. See, I think if the pyramid was there, though... Probably still wouldn't have picked it up. <laughs> oh man. It tripped and fell over and somehow got an STD on the finish line. I don't even know how you did that, Peggle. 
How did you get a sexually transmitted infection from tripping? You fell over and now you have AIDS. What is this? If you could choose a power-up for this stage, which one would you choose? Just a power-up, one that helps you. <laughs> Literally anything but this one. Bjorn, even. Yeah, Bjorn. Yeah, even Bjorn. I would take Bjorn over this shit. Literally any other character would help. B you know why? Because they would help and not not help. Like, did you see that cool thing? Because the pyramid doesn't go all the way? Did, like, did, the, did they just really not like the cat guy or something, so they never playtested him or something? I don't know. Uh, like, uh, uh, I I'm shocked at how this, uh, how bad this is. <laughs> hey, vey. Yeah, I don't even have enough turns in this to fully utilize the pyramid power up because it lasts five turns. I need to get two free balls, I guess, for that. And don't forget that I get two different green pegs. This is terrible. Ugh. Uh, it like doesn't matter at all that I'm getting score though. It like doesn't, it, it, like not even a tiny, tiny bit. how little I care about pyramid power. Every single shot is disappointing on this level. Like, all of them. Every single one. Good. 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 Wow, that was close. I, I, I was almost there. This, this, this is, this is really, like, I know it just sounds like I'm tilted, but take this from a guy who has played so many Pego levels, and some stinkers, too, like, some real fucking bad ones. This is, n like, nauseating. This is, like, genuinely disgusting, what I'm seeing here. Like, I, I've played some stinker levels, like, just, like, miserable levels. And this really does take the cake. Because I just have, I, there's nothing for me as the player to do. <laughs> wow, and then, yeah, 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 these top pegs, really, really well placed. Really good stuff. 
I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> what was that nonsense? <laughs> How many languages can I say this is fucking awful in? <laughs> how, how many ways can I describe how terrible this is? <sighs> ah, and it's just like, yep, it didn't get in the bucket. That's it. <laughs> That's the run. I am going to start inventing new words. It's true. To try to describe... ...the kind of pain this is causing me. Great. Right, you can't tell me that's not going to hit one of them. You can't. And, and like, now what? You know? Like this, uh, you know? Like, I have nothing. I have nothing to go on here. Yeah. This is fucked. This level is fucked, man. Oh my god. And like, after that great shot, that, that is, that was a terrible shot for this challenge. Like, a great shot in any other time. Terrible shot for this challenge. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Like, what the fuck? And it's- the, the fix is so simple. Oh, I accidentally shot there. Let's see if it pays off. No. It's so- literally just mo remove these two pegs. Remove those two pegs. Remove them. Get them out. That's it. That is the fix. The, the level is fixed now. Holy fucking shit. Just take him out, just take him out, just take him out, take him out. Did you play the level, Peg? Peg, Peg, Peg. Did you play this level, Popcap? Did, like... I, I genuinely... Like, how did this make it into the game? How did this make it into the video game? Did they put this in. They put this in, guys. Guys, they put this level in the game. It's like, they. this is real. They put this in here. They did that. They put it in. They, they put it into the game. Genuinely unbelievable. <laughs> like, I, I, again, coin, can I, should I go get the coin out? There was the one in one trillion times that the, the level actually works for a little bit. And that's for half of the level, that's for the one side of the stage, of course. That was actually good because I wanted to hit that purple peg. I'll take it that time. But like, and now, you know, <laughs> and now, just do this. Yeah, and it's like, whenever it gets down to it, like, it's perfectly constructed so that every single orange peg is, like, in an annoying spot to get to. Somebody was saying that, and I agree. 
it's like none of them are at good angles to get uh, free ball shots. That's awesome. So awesome. They made this. They put this in. Peggle. They put this in. Mm. It's like pyramid buckets. I don't even... My training doesn't even come into this. Part of the cards. Wow. It didn't even fucking hit anything. Jesus. You're joking. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. And it's like, again, yep. I don't know why you guys are agonized. I just got 19 coin flips in a row and lost the last one. This is basic probability, guys. I just flipped the coin 19... I, I flipped it 20 times. I got 19 heads and one tails. That's this level. That is this level. That is what this level is, by the way. I, I don't know why you guys are surprised. I... I basic probability my friends. I flipped the coin 20 times and I got one tails. And this challenge is to get 20 heads. That's all that happened. Imagine if the pyramid bucket went all the way to the side of the screen. It's a shame that's the only time that... It, it, they probably shouldn't fix it because that's the only time it's ever been an issue, though. It's never been an issue before now. Like, I wonder, if you did the math going back here, I bet the pyramid has actually been, like, has actually got me out of getting a free ball more times than it has got me a free ball. Like, like that, for instance. Like that, for instance. I genuinely wonder. It would be pretty close. It would be pretty close. It's like literally the ability in this stage is a handicap. This, this is a handicap power-up. This power-up makes the game more difficult. Again, it's like, did they play it? It's the sort of thing that shows up, I guess it, it, it really doesn't matter that much most of the time in Peggle, but then once you get to a challenging level like this, it's like, yeah, actual game design kind of matters. Because this is like the least compelling or satisfying challenge I've seen across any Peggle game, which I really didn't think the literal last challenge in the last iteration of like the classic Peggle engine that I played, I, I didn't, I really didn't expect this to be the worst fucking thing I've ever had to do in one of these games. Like, bruh. It's kind of like how the balance doesn't really matter in Peggle 2 until you play Peg Party. And then it's like completely fucked because that's an actual like they're trying to make it a competitive setting. My god.
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, look, guys, I get to play the game for a second here. All right, back to luck. <laughs> I think this is going to go at a wonky angle. No? Why would I do that? Why would I do that thing that I've done? Because, like, now what? You know what I mean about it being, like, awkward to shoot at them? <laughs> Real fucking awkward angles. Like, none of these I can get to easily. None. That's that's all that pyramid power is good for. This, please. Mm. How did that not hit it? And now what? You know? Now what? No. I actually am adjusting the shot. <laughs> it overlapped! It overlapped with the peg. The ball overlapped with the peg, by the way, there. It overlapped with the peg. It literally was in the peg. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Please. This hit detection is fucked. Wow. You guys saw how slowly I went. You guys saw how slowly I went. I was going one tick at a time. I was going exactly one tick at a time. There was like, I, there that was really the best that I could do there. I was going one single tick. You guys, to those of you who don't play, if you use the scroll wheel, it goes like one pixel. It goes like a singular one tiny pixel. And one pixel, it literally didn't hit the ball at all. The next pixel, it went off at like an insane angle. This is genuinely offensive peggle design. I, I, like, the last level out of all the games had to drop the ball this hard. You know? Like, they actually fucked up that bad at the last level, like this. Out of, like, hundreds that I have played. Hundreds. 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 I'm gonna say it again. Hundreds. Like, fuck me. Nope, not the yin yang level. That was a, that was fucking a, a cakewalk designed to this. Well, not a cakewalk. I'll tell you what it was a video game that I was playing and not just flipping a coin over and over again and waiting to get heads 30 times. That's an actual video game that you play with your hands, whereas this is literally just luck. Like, like that. Like, come fucking on. And it's like the addition of it being a miserable level with a miserable character that isn't even suited to the level. Cool. 
I really don't know why, uh, like, the reason why I was going so, with that last peg, I was going so slow, because I was like, it just looks like it's gonna go off at a harsh angle there. But then it was like, nope, literally one pixel away from that angle won't hit it at all. So that angle must not be very harsh. But no, literally one pixel further made it just completely ricochet at an insane angle. Like, uh huh? I really am shocked by that. That's like in Peggle 2 when, uh, sometimes the cursor would just be wrong. Like, incorrect. You remember that? You remember the, those fun moments in Peggle 2 when the cursor was just literally incorrect? And would say, yeah, you're gonna hit this peg. You are going to hit this peg. This peg is going to get hit. And then it just didn't. At least that fun feature isn't in this game. Like, bruh. This is like acceptable in fucking like 1972 game design. Not quite so much here. When do you guys think I'm gonna get to play the video game Peggle next? Place your bets. When when is Grapefruit going to get to play the video game Peggle while playing the video game Peggle? Probably not for a while, I would guess. <laughs> when do you guys think I'll get to play the video game Peggle? Because I am currently not playing the video game Peggle. I know it looks like I'm playing the video game Peggle. But I am not playing a video game right now. I am flipping a quarter 30 times to get heads 30 times. Wow. I, I don't know how they fucked it up so bad. Actually, I do. They put these pegs here and they didn't make the pyramid go to the side. That's literally all they had to do to fix it. <laughs> I do know. I do know. I know exactly what they did. They fucked up. They made the level wrong and the character wrong. That's what they did. They screwed up. It's bad. It's a bad level. They did a really bad job with this level. They did quite a bad job. It's bad. They did badly. They they, they did they did a really bad job with this. <sighs> Excuse me? Interesting angle? Like, is, is the strat really to just not even go for the green ones at all? Because it really is a detriment, like, genuinely. But the thing is, I'm not playing the game. Man, I, if only I could choose where the ball goes. You know? <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Pyramid pickup actually doing something for once in its fucking life. Sorry, something that, that, that helps. And there you go. Uh, imagine if it went to the sides of the screen. That would literally fix that problem. Did I mention that that happens like half the fucking time with this power-up? 
Even in levels specifically designed to not have that happen? Have, have I mentioned this? Also, uh, four. Here's an idea. Four instead of three. Uh, like, play test it. What? Like, play it. Here's, here's some advice. I've never made a video game. Admittedly. You know, so, so maybe this is armchair development. But usually I would figure you would play it, you know, before releasing it, I guess. And that's just, maybe that's like an outsider, like outsider art perspective. But I think maybe you would want to like play the video game, especially if you're human and then release it, like make sure you, like it's a good game, you know? That like all the levels are good. <laughs> and that it's not like the worst thing anybody has ever had to do in their lives. Wow. <laughs> The Peggle devs are watching and laughing. The Peggle devs are currently crying and being whipped by John EA as they type into computers about how to make the Plants vs. Zombies zombie fart. I don't think they have time to be here and laugh. They're like, we need the farting zombie emote stat! Jenkins? You'll get no pay raise if I don't see that fart on my desk by Monday. Um... It, it's like, this is luck. This is still just luck, though. I have nothing to do here. This is... I may as well just start going, like, playing the trombone while I'm doing this. Uh, how does it feel to be the first result on YouTube for Peggle? Uh, I hate to say it, but I think that might be your custom, uh, that might be your own Google. Not everybody's Google results are the same. So I, I would assume that it's probably skewed because you've watched my videos. I just don't, like, mmm. I genuinely just wonder if they even played this, you know? Because it, it's so clear to me how to fix it. Either give them one more ball. Give them... How about this? First time you're ever doing this challenge in your entire series? How about you give them five balls? Here's an idea. How about play the level before you release the video game? Just a thought. Just, you know... Something to think about? What the fuck? There has got to be a strat. I invite any of you. Any of you. If anyone there at home is going like, Oh, oh, I can't. why isn't he doing this thing? Go ahead, go home and try it. Go home and try it. Download this game. Yeah, try it. And then, and then realize this is literally fucking hell on earth. Like, this shit is insane. The strat is to get lucky. Like, there, there is nothing you can do. I, I would invite you. Prove me wrong. I bet you can't. It's luck. Our running theory with the, uh, with the ace scores what the, was that somebody just, like, they just played through all the levels once, you know, and then, like, added 100k to their current score or whatever, you know? And it was just, like, on the ones where they got lucky, 
then, uh, guess what? You also have to now. You literally have to. You must. There is not a luck-free win option. Like, I really do think this this is like the ultimate speedrun killer. For sure. Yes, even Redez. Like, I, I can fucking guarantee you this would like... If you could do this level in one shot as a speedrunner, I would be genuinely very impressed. Uh, I think really the only way to do it would be to find like a specific angle, you know, that just... Uh, gets, like, almost all the fucking pegs. Let's see if going all the way up to the side here does anything. Good. <sighs> nope. Let's see over here, maybe. These are essentially buffered shots. Nope, they're both terrible, because the level's terrible. Oh, they tripped so hard! How did they fuck up so bad at the end? How? How? It's not even like this is the fucking Pantheon of Hallowness. This is their first game. This is the first entry in the series. It was like fine up until this point and they fucked it up so bad. How? I just want to know how. They did this. And then they went home and went, yeah, I put that game out today and it works, yeah. The game is functional. On a very, on a basic level. It isn't. Man, at least in, in Meat Boy, I was playing a video game, you know? It just sucked, but it was a video game. <laughs> and it's... Another, another slight tweak I would make to this level is make the sides sloped, of course, and not just a sheer drop, because that's literally not how, like, something rolling down a slope works. Uh... But, man oh man. It just definitely, like, from... especially from... the low ball challenges from the past few games. All of those ones are, like, specifically designed, like, the, the big one is like... Rip. Like that. It's like one big one of these. Except that they didn't make the sides a sheer fucking drop. And it actually doesn't have something completely blocking the fucking way at the bottom, too. So that it actually works. And also, you're allowed to choose an actual power up there. Many things. And it just feels like this has a similar intent, but they just fucked it up. They, they just simply fucked it up. Well, at least, I was gonna say, at least it'll hit those for once. At least I want it to hit those for once. Man, if only the pyramid power went all the way to the side. By the way, if only. Man, if only the pyramid power went all the way to the side. Uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And that is the most misused quote of all time, my friends. Because I'm not trying the same thing over and over again. I'm, do I'm using- I'm doing multiple attempts. A lot of people will- will see somebody do multiple attempts on something and they'll whip out that quote. This is the most misapplied quote of all time. Hmm. Herder, playing the same level is insanity. 
yeah. Hmm. Yeah, maybe people don't know the meaning of practice, but this is, again, this is, this is to a certain degree ex insanity, though, to be fair. Almost still got screwed by the pyramid being awful. Yeah, not only the most misquoted thing, but also just the most quoted thing. I haven't even played Far Cry 3 and I've heard that a million times. And I know that's not from Far Cry 3, but it's where most people know it from these days. Come on! Give me a fucking break, video game! Look at that, look at that, okay, this is the same exact situation. Look at that, look at that, look, look at it! It would go off at a funny angle. 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 That is the exact peg and situation. It is the literal exact same peg. And this is one tick towards it, all right? That's the funny angle shot. That is the literal exact shot that I lost on. That is the one that isn't a funny angle. It's done. Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. That was the worst fucking level of any Peggle game by fucking far. Let me say it again. That was the worst level of any Peggle game by fucking far, including fan-made levels. By fucking far. Holy shit, and I don't even get anything. I don't even get anything for that. I got the trophies. That is the, like, legendarily bad level. Holy fuck. But I did it, folks. I did it. That, that shit was obnoxious. Holy fucking shit. I'm just trying to see if there's any, like, levels we missed. I, like, wow. Like, simply wow. Astounded. Like, a round of fucking applause for how, like, insane of a turn this game took. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Like, genuinely impressive how bad it got for one final level. One. All right, here, I, I, I said I would show it. Um, let's uncrop. This is the page that I've been playing on this entire time, by the way. So there it is. Peggle. That was, that was miserable. Can you guys tell that I'm like a little irritated by that? I don't know if I pick up on that. But yep, here's the Peggle website. This is the old pop cap zone. Uh, and I, th I think you can only get here by like way back machine now and through Basilisk. But look at that. Oh my god, it's Cloud. And there's my trophy. You know what? I'm gonna take that as my trophy. <laughs> Please give us your feedback. TEST THE GAME! TEST IT! Yeah, so it's also on Flashpoint. That's how I'm playing it. TEST THE GAME! That's my feedback. Holy fucking shit, guys. Well, top score, 5,311,660. Cool, cool stuff. Really cool game. Really cool game, Peggle. Really cool game.
<laughs> All right. Well, that was an odyssey of pain and suffering. Not only, like, man, I thought the worst was behind us when that crashing nonsense stopped, when I, when I finally pushed past that. But, oh man. So, yeah, I'm going to take... It's probably going to be like an hour or so, maybe like half an hour before Paper Mario, but I will do Paper Mario still. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I guess that ends the, uh, the very OG Peggle Saga, but we still have uh, Peggle Knight's challenge levels, or uh, user-submitted levels, rather. And then... Uh, you know what? I tell a lie, because there was a harder level than that one I was just playing, and it was real hell. It's the challenge that somebody sent in. But the thing is, I didn't even do that one. Because that wasn't an official Peggle level. That was an official Peggle level. By the way, they put that in the game. Did you guys know that they put that level into this video game? Insanity. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Next time... Our next stream will be Paper Mario. Next uh, Peggle game will probably be the uh, just one more stream of Peggle Knight's custom levels, and then uh, Peggle Blast in the future, and then probably Peggle Dual Shot way in the way future. You just projected your thoughts on Twitch. None of that was real. Got to do it again. No, fuck that. Can't believe I had to open Task Manager for that shit. Oy vey. <clears throat> but that's it. It's I'm glad to get that off my chest. Whatever uh, pop cap stuff do they have on here anyway? Yeah, I I would have been very unsatisfied if I had uh if I had given up there. So I'm I'm glad I didn't give up. Even though again that was pure fucking misery. Yeah, they've got the original version of Bejeweled on here, Bejeweled 2, Bejeweled 3 even, what the fuck? This is a debug version of the game and has cheats built, in, built into it, damn. They got original Bookworm, Bonnie's Bookstore, damn, I haven't thought about Bonnie's Bookstore in ages, that's like proto-Bookworm. I never played that one, but I saw like ads for it. Uh, Insane Aquarium demo, which I, I, that's the one that I will play in the future. They got fucking Bookworm Adventures beta version on here, I think. A uh, Chuzzle, Dino Might, Zuma's Revenge, Zuma. Damn. Plants vs. Zombies web version. Jesus. Yeah, but uh, like I said before, I think the only one of those that I'll be checking out is the Insane Aquarium one. Fuck the rest of those. I don't even give a shit. But I will play, uh, I will play Bejeweled at some point, just not that, like, demo version of it. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, when I started this stream, I really, like, I looked at, I saw, like, three worlds, and I was like, okay, well, clearly there's only gonna be, like, maybe five levels per Peggle Master, and then maybe five Master levels. I didn't even realize they were gonna be challenges, I didn't realize it was gonna be ten random levels per Peggle Master, I didn't realize that shit was gonna crash, I didn't realize that last level was gonna be hell, uh, so... Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be able to put out another Twitch notification for Mario for, for a thousand year door later because it's been, it's almost been four hours just doing this stream. Insanity. Well, I imbibed the ghost chalice. It's over now. I can stop being salty. I, I overcame. I flipped the fucking coin 30 times in a row and I got heads every damn time. Oh. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go take a fat shit.